Okay, so let's start with the quarter of an hour with Anne first. Anne got there at 8.06. The rule is, is you have to round. So 8.06 is closer to 8 than it is to 8.15. So Anne worked from 8 to, well, 12.25 is closer to 12.30 than to 12.15. So Anne worked from 8 to 12.30 or Anne worked 4.5 hours. For her afternoon shift, Anne started at 1.20. Well, that's closer to 1.15 than it is to 1.30, and she stopped working at 4.57. Well, that's obviously closer to 5. So Anne worked 3.75 hours in her afternoon shift. This is using the quarter of the hour system. The idea is you just simply go to the nearest 15 minutes. Okay, so now let's do the hundredth hour. So for the hundredth hour, you figure out how many hours the person actually worked down to the minute. So Anne came in at eight, so she worked 54 minutes from eight to nine. Then she worked all of nine, all of 10, all of 11, and then she worked 25 minutes before she went to lunch. You add all of those minutes up, and Anne worked a total of 259 minutes. You divide that by 60, and you get Anne worked 4.3166 hours. So then, we want to do the same thing for Anne's afternoon shift. Anne came in at 12.02. I'm sorry, Anne came, one, wrong person. Anne came in at 1.20, so that's 40 minutes. She worked the 2 o'clock hour, she worked the 3 o'clock hour, and she worked 57 minutes at the last hour of the day. You add those up, you get 217 hours divided by 60 minutes, and this equals 3.6166 hours. So when you add the two of them together, you get total hours on the quarter system of seven, I'm sorry, on the hundredth system of 7.9332. Thanks for listening.